surprisingly, this week in Call of Duty actually has a decent amount of stuff to look out for. So today, as always with our Monday videos, we're going to take a look at nine things to look out for this week within not only Black Ops 4, but also the Call of Duty world in general. So real quickly before we jump into it, may or may not be live streaming at the time of this video going live and you guys may be even watching this. So if you guys want to check it out, come hang out, say what's up. There's a link down in the description below to my Twitch channel if you guys want to go follow over there. We do some live streams every so often, but I want to give you guys the heads up if you guys want to follow on another route and also just come hang out and say what's up. But that said, let's jump right into the first thing here to look out for this week. Let's do some housekeeping stuff here. Let's talk about some things that are going to actually finish out tomorrow. So you have probably by the time this video goes live again, about 12 to maybe 16 hours, depending on where you're at in the day, before you can no longer take advantage of what's on deck. First thing being, it's the final day of the quad feed weekend event. This being an extended weekend, actually, at that because of the holiday here in the States. We have double XP, double weapon XP, double Nebulium Plasma, and two times merits for the respective game modes. If you guys want to rank up an MP, zombies, or blackout, this is an absolutely fantastic way to take advantage of that. And again, it's only for a limited time. This quad feed event doesn't happen all that often. We'll see every so often a double XP or a double merits or a double nebulium plasma every so often, but not all four all at once. So if you guys want to jump in, take advantage of that, definitely get your fill of that while you still can. Additionally, as of tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the Nuketown 24-7 playlist will be going away. So today is the final day here. It's a combination of a bunch of different game modes all within, well, you guessed it, Nuketown and Black Ops 4. So to that end, it's actually a great way to pair it up with this quad feed XP because you do get so much score on Nuketown if you play either with the party or even solo, you can end up grinding out a ton of it. So it's a great way to take advantage of both those together. But if you want to play one or the other, of course, Nuketown town goes away tomorrow as well and the final thing that we'll be rounding out and ending as of tomorrow is that double tier boost that was awarded to black ops pass holders as of last tuesday there was that adjustment made to the black ops pass where you end up having the ability to have a buddy system where if you or your friend ends up having the maps and you don't you can still play with them and still play those maps for free but also in conjunction with that it also added in a two times tier boost for one week at that point for black ops pass holders so unfortunately that will be going away I wish that it didn't, but that's the cards that have been dealt at the very moment. So take advantage of it today if you have the time and opportunity to play so you can end up getting as much in those tiers as possible, especially with the fact that it'll lead us into our next topic of discussion, that being that it's the final week of the first split of Spectre Rising. So that means the first 50 tiers are going to be going away as of not this upcoming Tuesday tomorrow, but next Tuesday. That's where we're going to see the Days of Summer, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit in the video, the Days of Summer kicking in but things like the tiger shark lmg and the nefo od melee weapons those are going to be going away along with well not really all that much else that was worth it in the contraband stream but you get the picture all 50 tiers will refresh and we'll have that second half of the operation split include days of summer and a new contraband stream which seems to include quite a bit of stuff we know that there's going to be a sniper rifle on the way that's been hinted by treyarch a couple of times now and of course that sniper rifle is still the one that was seen in even the earliest promo material of operation grand heist so it's kind of like well finally but we also have other things up on deck like the ballistic knife seen in the trailer for operation Spectre Rising, and also, apparently, we may have the S6 Stingray, a new tactical rifle that was leaked by the Call of Duty Companion app, but we don't know where exactly that'll fit. But regardless, those tiers will be going away, and that first split of Spectre Rising will be wrapping up. Now, personally, I don't think this is going to affect, say, the things in the shop and the items in there, or their ability to be retroactively purchased. So if you missed out on, say, week one in the shop, I don't think that you're necessarily going to have that completely wiped into oblivion again, because... Also, when you consider it, well, that 5% tier boost that ends up being added onto your account with each individual special order you end up buying, that would only take you to that max out of this split. So it has to keep going for those that didn't purchase everything and there's be that additional opportunity for those there. But regardless, one thing to clarify is this next half of this split isn't actually a new operation. Operation 5 for Black Ops 4 isn't going to happen until July, so it really seems like the only thing that we'll be changing here is just the event in that contraband stream specific. There may be other things in addition to maybe say, again, we have that Ossienda Twilight map and maybe a map change to Blackout with Days of Summer happening, but things like the shop, until the operation itself refreshes, 
I don't necessarily see those things changing out. Now, talking about the shop refreshes, though, leading into the next topic of discussion and focusing a little more on that for the things to look out for, this is where it gets a little bit vague and foggy and is purely speculative. Now, we had these things data mined from the game files as soon as the PC update went live, right after Spectre Rising went live for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I think it was that Thursday that PC ended up getting it. But regardless of the timing of all of this, there were a ton of things customization-wise that were data mined that were from reserves, that were from the contraband stream, and also things that would be future shop items at that time. And it seems like that just about everything has been accounted for except for a couple of things, to which we have things that may roll over into Days of Summer, but also may be implemented as of this upcoming week. One of those things is also a new special order sort of deal, not as the special order, but instead where we saw, say, the Mark II weapons of the ICR, the GKS, and the Titans sold before, and where there currently is that Hudson bundle available for PlayStation 4 users. That's something that we saw the Ultimus Tank Dempsey Blackout character. The files for this were actually added in via the hotfix a couple of days ago, and there's been a couple of other things that have been withheld, like the Empire lookalike camo from Black Ops 3 and other items in the shop. So there's definitely some things that could be up on deck. We don't know exactly what they are just yet or where they fit in this grander puzzle that is the operation at large. Now, as of tomorrow, we're going to see a couple of different things in terms of playlist updates and other things after that outside of just Black Ops 4, per se. So let's start out with what tomorrow brings immediately, that being, firstly, well, one that I'm kind of curious how it plays out, Bolt Action Bare Bones, coming tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is going to be snipers only here for this, so if you guys think one shot, very similar to that, but minus the SDM, so you're not going to be able to just spam everything like that, but it's going to be snipers only in that regard of the Koshka, the Outlaw, and the Paladin. So I'm curious to see how this plays out if it's an attempt to liquidate the snipers in the regular modes of Bare Bones, because if you've played that, well, it's definitely overrun the snipers for sure, but I'm wondering if this now kind of splits the player base where the snipers will have their own game mode in which they can focus on doing just that and also the regular bare bones, more casual players that want to experience it, but may not necessarily be any number of things either skill wise as good, willing to go as hard as the players on the other team sniping, whatever the case may be where it then just splits the player base into a little bit more focused groups, if that makes sense. I don't know if that'll be the case, but it's certainly something to consider, but bolt action bare bones is going to be starting as of tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific standard time additionally on the blackout front we're going to have one more game mode and playlist refresh before days of summer kicks in to which that's going to bring in ground war which i'm super excited for i'm honestly so ready for 50 v 50 combat here with that that'll be really great but close quarters frenzy returns tomorrow that's going to be close quarters stuff obviously smgs shotguns i can't remember if launchers were in the mix there with that but also things like pistols as well but it's gonna be a lot more close quarters combat than you may be used to and this is honestly a lot of fun probably gonna be in quads though as normal but it's returning here again for presumably just a week until days of summer kicks in and finally, talking about Days of Summer, that's where we're going to round it out with the Black Ops 4 side of the content because we're more than likely going to get a bunch of different teasers for Days of Summer content. We saw that we had a quick little 15 second trailer a couple of days ago here go live on PlayStation as well as the official Treyarch Twitter as well, to which it just showcased a little bit of just the Days of Summer atmosphere. Fire break cooking out on a grill, which honestly, I really hope that that becomes an emote. That'd be the absolute best emote to pull out if you win because you grilled your opponents in the final circle or something like that but you also then end up seeing that there is just a sort of zoom out of the characters and the specialists in a lazy river on a bunch of rafts so we'll see where that actually leads it doesn't give us too many specifics but it does let us know that well it's coming so outside of that i'd expect a few more things a little more in depth maybe a trailer some teases at the customization some teases from treyarch maybe even on reddit and wherever it may be but a lot of cool stuff potentially coming as well so i'm looking forward to that and of course with days of summer as of next tuesday that week window now kicks in where we normally see that pre-marketing and pre-promotion start up to start to stir up the conversation about the upcoming content. Finally, though, talking not Black Ops 4, but definitely need to consider it because it's a big week for Call of Duty in general, I said at the beginning of the video. Call of Duty 2019 teasers and possibly a reveal I think have to be this week. Like we've talked about here in passing a couple of times on the channel already, next week is Days of Summer. I can't imagine that Activision ends up green lighting the reveal for a game that would then literally cut into sales and revenues for that based off the content that's going to be launching next week. And then the week after that is E3. So I can't imagine they end up holding out on a reveal for that long as well. It kind of negates the idea of that two week window that we talk about here on the channel all the time because, well, you're going from what is 
theoretically this week of a reveal to next week immediately into another reveal and release of content for Black Ops 4. But honestly, it's the only thing that makes any sense to me at the moment is maybe this week. So whether that be tomorrow or maybe Thursday or something like that, I know there's been some dates thrown around the rumor mill. Your guess is honestly as good as mine though, but maybe keep an eye out for that this week as well. So we'll keep you guys updated with everything here as it all happens. Of course, update notes tomorrow if nothing else happens on a grander scale, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to this week here in either Black Ops 4 or maybe outside of it in maybe say the Call of Duty 2019 realm? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 4 and all things Call of Duty. Anything regarding updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff, we got you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get kind of out of YouTube. Practically live on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. But let's send out to my thing, guys. Also much for watching. Mana's Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.